Good morning, everybody. Um, today's kind of a special day. I have never caught a redfish before, and I find myself in southern Louisiana down in the Delta um, here at Pack Kayak Rental in the middle of flipping nowhere. I got no clue where I'm at, but uh, we're going to go out and we're going to chase some reds today. I got some guys from the Jackson Kayak team. Um, and then uh, I don't know, I'm just going to go follow them and learn. I know nothing, so this may not be an instructional or tutorial video. If I learn something, I'll talk about it, but hope you enjoy. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. Hold that sucker up. Beautiful, nice. man. Man, those colors, huh? Yep. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, all right, let me back up. We can get a release on it. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, the ah, uh... gorgeous. <laughs> well, that was easy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. With... Got him. Big one too. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> ah. Dropped him. Yes, I am a rookie. All right, let's keep him in the net. Whew. Of course, the back camera wasn't on. Oh. Good. Murphy's Law. Very first redfish and the back camera was not on. But look at that. Oh, man. I'm so jacked up. First one. All right. Hmm. And I didn't have my back camera on. He was tailing and everything. And he hit it like a freight train. And I did exactly what you told me to do. Let him find it. The little swim bait. Awesome. All right, let's let him go. I'm not going to be graceful at this because I'm not graceful. There he goes. <laughs> that was a battle, man. That was the best one yep. That was an absolute battle. Awesome. All right, so let me tell you kind of what's going on. We got out here and there's not a really, not a whole lot of topwater action. The fish aren't really aggressive. There's not a lot of action at all going on so it's funny we all switch to little subtle baits not a whole lot of spinners just little paddle tail swim baits and the one i'm using right here is a strike king rage swimmer uh it's the five inch and uh i'm dipping the tail in jj's in chartreuse jj's magic 
little birdie told me that the redfish tournament guys love JJ's magic. So I said, I don't think it's going to hurt any. So that helps them pick it up a little bit better. And like Eli told me, just when you see one tailing, throw out in front of it just a few feet and let it find the bait and you'll catch them. So I'm going to keep on keeping on. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Man. That was a hard fought fish. Man, he just kept disappearing. Finally threw it right on his nose. Oh. Wow. Yeah. They were right. This is going to ruin me. <laughs> Hmm. I'm not good at grabbing them. There it goes. Number two redfish. Wow. Oh. <laughs> They're absolutely right. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, so let me try to explain the emotions that go on when going on with me when I'm doing this stuff. Man, I see one tailing, and it's like I just saw a freaking trophy buck for the first time. I start to get the shakes. The adrenaline starts pumping. Holy crap. And when I finally make that one cast, it just drops right in front of his nose. And you just see a little, little swirl. You know he's got it. Oh, and they fight. This is hand-to-hand -hand combat. And doing it out of a kayak, whoa. <laughs> I don't think there's any other way. To me, there's not. That's awesome. But, uh... It's, it's hunting at its finest. You just, you're, look, you're, you're slowly, stealthily just sliding through in and out of pockets and just looking for tails popping up or looking for a little swirl. Um, actually a big swirl, you know, a big fish in shallow water pushes quite a bit of water. So you're looking for that water to be pushed. And, uh, and you just make a cast as close as you can to them without hitting them. It's, it's all about accuracy. That's why I switched from the spinning rods to the one bait caster that I brought. I'm um, using 15 pound line. Um, wow. Absolutely impressive. And I get to do this for the next seven days. <laughs> all right, while I'm paddling, I want to tell you about this boat. This is a uh, Jackson Cuda HD. It's new on in their lineup this year. Might have been out last year, but I think it's new this year. And uh, it is a lot different than the big rig. The big rig is super, super stable. This one is faster, and therefore you give up stability when you get with a faster boat. But it's when you're talking about the kayaks like this, you have two, two different stability points. You have your primary stability, which is when the boat is level, and your secondary, secondary stability when it's tilted. It tilts and then comes to a stop before it starts to tip over. The secondary stability on this boat is excellent. So if you got good sea legs and you don't mind a, a wobbly boat, you're not gonna fall out of this. Um, you know, it, 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 there, well, there's a possibility of it, but always have everything tied down, everything strapped down and ready to go so you don't have to worry about that. But the, uh, the reason this is ideal for this kind of stuff is that it is very fast. You can cover a lot of water quickly. A lot of times you've got to paddle a long distance. We went about two miles this morning and we're gonna go about four miles back. And so 
you know, it, just having a faster boat makes things a whole lot easier. And you just get used to the stability. One thing I did find out is that having that power pole in the back, the, I have the full length power pole. Um, it, it put too much weight above the center of gravity and it really was wobbly. And then that pole would just kick back and forth like the camera's doing right now and just cause, a, cause a, a, just a terrible amount of instability. So I got rid of the power pole, put it down, it's strapped to the side of the boat. I've got a, a backup stakeout pole and uh, I'll pull it out of, the, out of the bottom of the boat if I need it. But uh, this Kusa HD is, is perfect for what we're doing right now. Um, when I, I'll uh, do a second video here as soon as we get done fishing this afternoon or maybe even tomorrow morning of how I have it set up. I've been playing around with the setup today, uh, trying to maximize stability and still maximize the ability to be stealthy and, and sneak up on these fish and make it a little bit easier for me. So I've been playing with a lot of stuff today. So uh, tomorrow I'll do a video or this afternoon I'll do a video about how I have it set up, but an absolute comfortable kayak, one that you're gonna be in all day and uh, a lot of fun to fish out of. He's right there. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Freaking hammered it. Cool. was awesome now that was a hunt wow he freaking killed it oh. wow okay knew there was one in here. They just want that little swim bait. You can try anything else, they just want the swim bait. So that's what I'm gonna use the rest of the dang day. Man. Ma this is fun. A lot of fun. I don't know what else to say. It's just a blast. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess it's time for me to rock and roll and get out of here. I've got about an hour and a half left of daylight. It's probably about how long it's gonna take me to get back. Um, but uh, what an amazing day, what an absolute blast it's been to, uh, to catch my first redfish and to feel how hard these things fight. I mean, gum! what a great fighting fish. I am, spoof. I'm blown away. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope I, did a good enough job on this video. You never know until you get back and go edit it. But like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water and go out and catch some fish. Have a great day. We'll see you.